how to track time in ClickUp. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can track time on ClickUp. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you need to go onto your ClickUp dashboard. And over here, I have opened up this workspace. And how do you track time? Well, the first thing you need to do before you even start working on time tracking is that you need to go onto your bottom left over here. And then over here, you're going to go onto your Click Apps. And then you're going to make sure that you have your time tracking enabled. So you're just going to search for time over here. And you can see over here, you have time estimates. You're going to turn these on and you can display these in hours as well. And you can see if you scroll down over here, you also have time tracking. And then you're going to add and enable that as well. So you can choose to enable it in certain spaces, but I would suggest that you do it for your entire workspace. Once you have turned on both of these features, you're going to go back onto your basic dashboard and start tracking time. So the easiest way that you can track time is just by clicking on a task over here. And then once you have clicked on a task, you can see over here that you have this clock over here. You can just click on this pause icon and you're going to start the timer. So the timer for this task has been started and it's present over here. Now I can do this task and I can do anything else as well, basically, but this is going to be tracking time. And let's say it's been 17 seconds. If I pause this right now and I go back to my basic page, I'm going to see over here that 16 seconds are going to be tracked onto my task. So even though I paused it while I was on a separate page, it does still track time for this task. Now, there are many ways that you can track time. First off is the basic timer where you turn on the timer and it starts tracking time. You can also do a manual time addition as well. So it's let's say if you finish this task or this subject in five hours, right now so you can add that as well if you want to track time like that or you can even go with range so in range you can add the timer when you started to when you ended so this is going to help you in categorizing time a bit more now you can also choose to make these hours billable or non-billable so if you want to make a more professional platform to actually track your billable hours, you can do that with billable hours over here. Now, another great feature with ClickUp is that if you go onto the show more page over here on the left, you can go onto your home page. And then if you go onto the pulse section over here, now, if you don't want to open up each individual task to start tracking time and you want to maybe add goals, you can do that as well. So if you go onto the goals section, you can set a goals to achieve a certain task within a certain time. And this is also going to help you in achieving long-term successes and long-term goals with the time tracking application. So you can add goals to make that a bit easier. Now, if you go back onto your basic workspace and maybe if you're just on the workspace over here and you want to add add time tracking directly you can do that with these three dots at the bottom right over here you're going to click over here and then you're just going to click on track time and then you can start allocating a task to your time as well so you can see this task has already been allocated because i previously opened it but i can delete sessions as well and i can start recording time from here as well or you can click on select task and change the task that you have on hand to do so you can do that as well or another feature is that you can click on enter a new task and you can make a new task altogether so let's just say our task is called time tracking and i'm just going to add that and then you're going to select on what list did you want to add this task to so i'm going to add this task to class notes and then you can see over here my class notes are now going to be updated and i'm going to start tracking time and then you can start tracking time with this feature as well. So this enables you to actually track time on different pages. If I'm on my homepage, I can start tracking time for my work. If I'm browsing some other workspace or I haven't opened my actual workspace, I can still clock in and clock out. And this is something that is very useful, especially if you're someone that is working with billable hours, you need to make sure that everything you do has been tracked and monitored. So this is just one of the 
basic ways you can track time. Obviously, you can go on to some of the third party integrations available on ClickUp as well. So if you go on to their integrations, you're going to find a few time tracking applications available. But depending on what your needs are, they can easily be fulfilled with ClickUp's native time tracking. And the native time tracking is good enough for you as a basic consumer. Now, if you want to shorten your time that you spend on ClickUp as well, you can just click over here onto your four dots and you can click on pin item and then your time tracking feature is going to appear all the way on any of your pages on ClickUp. So it really doesn't matter what page I open up. It's going to give me this time tracking icon over here and I can start tracking time for any of the work that I start and you can add timers for multiple tasks as well. So let's say if I start this and I'm going to add a description as well. So you can choose to add a description, but this is only available for people that are paying for ClickUp. If you're using ClickUp for free, you're not going to be able to add descriptions and add some more details to your time tracking. You cannot add labels as well. And this is going to require you to purchase their premium plan, which is available not for a very high price. I must say ClickUp is very affordably priced if we actually go on to their pricing section. So some of the time related features that you're going to get on their unlimited version that is available for $5 per month per member is that you get agile reporting and you get a lot of time integrations. And if you upgrade to their business version, you're also going to get mind maps and you get advanced time tracking with their native time tracking. So if you are looking to upgrade for time tracking only, then I would suggest that you skip the unlimited version and move on to the business version direct if you want to be able to monitor your business hours, your employee work hours, your active hours, on-site hours, then you definitely will need the business version of ClickUp. So that is how easy it is to track time on ClickUp. I'm just going to stop my timer right here and you can see this time has been added onto my workspace. Now a bad part about ClickUp is that you can remove this time. So if I have tracked some time, I can remove it as well. And this I find to be a fat, bad feature. So I can even edit and remove time. And that can be a bit inconvenient in some situations where people might have some arguments over this. I do think that this is a feature that is usually not available on most time tracking apps. And the fact that ClickUp does provide it is both a pro and a con at the same time. So you can add more time if you want, but it's also going to be a bit more difficult to actually consider who spent how much time on completing this task. That was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.